morning. Day people. two in Amsterdam. Well, first full day. Um, we had a lovely sleep and it's now half past 11. We did actually get up at half nine, but I've been tidying the room and getting ready and try taking some pics and stuff in the room as well. So um, it's now half 11 and we're gonna go to a place called Rainbows for breakfast. It's not really breakfast anymore though, is it? But um, they do smoothie bowls, shock. Um, whenever I go away, I've got to have something that looks you know, nice and juicy and healthy. Um, I don't know where I'm going with this. Um, I, I realized that in a lot of my vlogs, I basically like travel vlogs especially, I just sort of show you what I'm eating, but I don't know about anyone else, but that's what I like to know. It's like, I go away, I don't go away to like, get drunk and go wild. I go away to eat some nice food and um, go to cool places and take some good pictures and enjoy like the area, I don't know. So I like seeing where people have gone for food. So I like to vlog where I'm eating. I know it probably looks like I'm eating constantly, but I promise you there are like hours and hours between each clip. Um, but I like to show you where I'm going to eat so the you know if you're visiting Amsterdam which a lot of people do um then you know some cool places to go it's rainy and drizzly outside again but we spent 10 euros to get an umbrella in some crappy souvenir shop yesterday so um at least it was money well spent it can't come home with us but I'm sure it will serve us good over today and tomorrow because it's supposed to be raining the entire time we're here so that's fun outfit wise today where can I where can I prop you up I can prop you up here actually so nothing too special again I've got oh take my jacket off another big misguided um tea oh and these are literally my favorite they're like the drop shoulder t-shirts you've seen me wear them in black cream white and now gray um i've got these they're supposed to be mum jeans they're not like they're, they're sort of like in between a mum and a skinny jean kind of like they are um not the tightest but they're not like um baggy mum jeans either um these are from asos they are called the what are they called I can't remember but I will um, link them below um, and I've got my night trainers on again and of course my sister and Seeker's jacket because I didn't bring any other one with me. Oh, is there anything else to update you on? I don't think so. Oh my god, right, so I do want to show these quickly. Oh, you're going to really see everything now, aren't you, up close? But I had my brows laminated the other day. Um, I will put the girl's Instagram beneath who did them for me so you can like go and see her before and afters or if you're in Bristol like me then you can hopefully book in with her. Um, brow lamination is quite new. Basically what it is, it's kind of like, you know how you would get a lash lift and they put like a perming solution on your lashes to like um, lift them. It's kind of like that but for your eyebrows so it sort of straightens all the hairs out. Um, can you see? Like literally, I've obviously got pencil on with it but they're literally insane. My brows have never looked this like hairy and fluffy before in my life. Um, I've always struggled growing them. So like this one doesn't have much pencil in. I just sort of fill them in to get the shape a bit more even. But I'm so impressed. So she tints them and puts this like perming solution on. Um, it only cost me £35 and it lasts for eight weeks. Now that is an introductory price. I know they're going up to 45 but I'm 100% going back and making this a regular thing because I'm literally so obsessed with them. Right, anyway, we're going to leave the... If it focuses. We're going to leave the hotel now mm. and um, go and get a rainbow. And... Um, oh, we're hoping to go to a place today called De Poosen Boot. Um, which means, well, it's an annual sanctuary on a boat and it's for cats. So it's literally called Cat Poosin Boot Boat. Um, and I'm not sure if they realise that it sounds like Puss in Boots, which is also a play on words. But, um, I really want to go see some cats and Jessie found it. So we might go there as well. Um, it's a bit of a walk though, but I don't mind because they get to cuddle some cats. Ah, crap. Didn't tell people to like and subscribe yesterday. Well, anyway, in this vlog, I'm going to tell you, please like 
and subscribe if you haven't already. Come to Rainbows, it's really cute in here. I've got myself a little ginger shot and my bowl will be coming soon. And Jessie's got um, a chocolate oat milk and it's all hot, so it's like nice creamy hot chocolate. But look, there's a cafe dog in here. His name is Moose. Look how gorgeous he is. Jesse's having fun playing with him. He doesn't mind coming to somewhere like this now that there's a dog here. <laughs> Smoothie balls have just come. I've got the pink one. So it looks like I've got banana, berries, apple, blackberries, strawberries on there. And Jesse got, what did you get? The acai nutella? Something like that. Yeah, yeah so it's got uh, peanut butter, banana, Blackberries, all the same. It's two o'clock, it's our slot time, and I'm officially ready to meet some cats. Some Dutch cats. Uh, I can't wait. Today has been filled with animals so far, and I love that so much. Hello. Hi, kitties. Hi. Hello. These cats are really good, like, actually. <gasps> oh, that was so cute, wasn't it? It was just nice. We took 15 minutes out of our day to go and stroke some kitties. Not just any cats, though. Have you been reiterated? Rescued. Yeah. They've been rescued from the streets of Amsterdam, and now they're living their best life on a little boat with a little playpen, and they've got mates, and it's so cute. And there's like little kittens, so it must mean that someone abandoned some kittens in there, and some of them are in little crates or cages. Um, but I think it's only sort of the ones that are a bit scared of the humans that come in or they're a bit young so um you know they're just keeping them in there but the, a lot of them are out and they're really cute oh it was just nice and you you can go in for free but they like you to make a donation so just make a little donation on your way in or out and it's worth it and it goes towards helping them to help the cats yeah we're gonna go have some pancakes now um, I've always wanted to go to the Pancake Bakery, but I do find it a bit pricey. Um, but this trip, we're going to treat ourselves and go there because I, I love, love a good pancake. pancake. That's right. Debbie Downer and I don't really like to moan or be negative especially not on my YouTube but um, I feel it's necessary because <laughs> I feel it's necessary because I would hate for um, someone to watch my vlog and think oh uh, Daisy went there when she was in Amsterdam so I'll go there because it was obviously nice because she chose to eat there or whatever but yeah I didn't have a very good experience in there at all um, I, like I said I've always wanted to go there I remember I went in there the first time I came to Amsterdam and walked out because I noticed how expensive it was. Um, so from the get-go, the moment we went in there, um, I wanted to use the toilets upstairs and there was a queue of, so there was three people in front of us and then me and Jess waiting to be seated at the door. Um, and so I ran upstairs whilst we were waiting to go and use the toilet. Um, and a member of staff was up there she was about to go in and she said oh no no you can go in it's not busy anyway so I was thinking right you know it's not busy yet you just walk past five people who are waiting to sit down at a seat um, and you're just leisurely you know strolling upstairs for a little a wander yeah when you don't even need to go they went to the toilets they were filthy minging would not they were they were just vile it's like it looked like a bar toilet it was just they? like, like wet, spoons or yeah something. it's just like wet everywhere there was like wet tissue on the floor and it's just like it wasn't like grubby but it was just like it didn't look tidy and it was one toilet yeah and it was one toilet for everyone um came back downstairs jesse still hadn't been seated yet i and then he said he told me that the three people who were in front all walked out because they still hadn't been seated either 
and God knows how long they were waiting there before we actually came in. Um, finally got seated. I noticed that everything was really grubby, like the walls were grubby. It just said that I had a radiator next to me which had like this thick dust on it. Um, to be honest with you, it was just minging. Um, and it's like dark in there, like a bit dingy. So it's supposed to be like that atmosphere, but I just didn't like it. Um, Cause it was so cramped and dark, I started to feel really anxious in there. And that hasn't really happened in a public place in a long time. So that tells you something Like I don't know. I just didn't feel very comfortable in there at all. I he needed a fork. Because I had a knife before on my side, but he only had a knife now. And um, so the lady who originally took our order, the miserable one, came over and she said, um, Jessie said, can I have a fork please? And she looked down at the table. She picked mine off of my side and then handed it to Jessie, as in like, here you go, here's a fork. And then he was like, um, yeah, okay, that's great, but now she'll need one. And she was like, oh, okay. So like went and got me one. It was just like, she she spoke to us like we were completely stupid. By the time Jessie had pretty much finished, mine eventually came out. And to be honest with you, it was one single pancake, really thin, the size of the plate, with, with loads of sweet stuff piled on top. And because the pancake was hot, everything melted so quickly. Like, it was just not worth the 18 euros or whatever I spent on my pancake alone. Jessie's was like another 13 or 15 or whatever. So like, all in all, we spent 35 euros in there. And I wish that we had just gone to like, a quiet little cafe or something because it was just a waste. That was that. Um, anyway, I'm done having a moan. Um, I just told Jesse, so basically I planned some stuff for his birthday. Well, his birthday is tomorrow. Um, um, so I planned some stuff for us to do tonight. And that's a quite cute jewelry shop. <coughs> um, so we were gonna go to Glow Golf, because if you watch my vlog from when we went to Prague and Amsterdam last year, you'll see that we went to Black Light Golf in Prague. So we we're gonna do the same in Amsterdam because we really enjoyed it. Um, but I just said to Jess, we were gonna go at like six o'clock tonight, but it was closer to where we are now. So I said we can go now. So basically we're in the surprise. I just said we can go now. Um, or we can go to Body Worlds, whichever one you wanna do. So he said that he'd rather go to Body Worlds. So we're heading there now. Um, and then we've got a little break this evening and then we're gonna go out for some food a bit later on tonight so I'll update you as and when but we'll be in body world next body world and we've been told that we've got to start on level six so we're here on level six it's called the happiness project apparently it tells you how happiness helps your body I'll be quiet because people are watching a film Guys, how crazy is this? This is a nervous system. So, I think everything in body world is like actually preserved from a human body, isn't it? So this is someone's, someone's real nervous system once. That's so the weird. Main so it doesn't, oh, it does go into the toes. It the main part, you have that's little weird. Branches and off, that's though. a real brain. Ah, look at this. So it says that happiness varies from person to person, but approximately 50% of happiness is determined by genetics, 40% by our thoughts, actions, and behaviour, and only 10% by circumstance. So whether you're rich or poor, healthy or unhealthy, married or single, so the actions what make the difference. Really? <gasps> oh my God, that's someone. That was someone's head. Can you see the eyelashes and the eyebrows? And literally the hairs on his head. Look, you can go on the swings. You can only people come to a museum and just to play on the swings. This is worth however many euros we paid to come in. So we finished Body Worlds. And the last thing is this little room of mirrors. And it says happiness is inside you. Cute. Right, I've got to be quick and I look a mess. Because um, we've just been chilling at the hotel for a bit. 
just sent Jessie down to buy us a drink from the fridge and reception. Um, but I just wanted to explain because I haven't had the chance to yet. Because literally, like when we go away, we're joined at the hip. Basically, um, he knows we're going out tonight to grab some food at nine o'clock. I was going to take him to Glow Golf, but we went to Bolly Wars instead. I explained that. But we're going to a place called The Butcher. Um, and from the front, it looks like it is just like a little burger shop basically like a nice burger shop which it is um if you reserve ahead and like email them and book ahead um you can dine in the secret kitchen which is like a secret door at the back so you've got to like go to the cashier and um give them a password and then they take you to the back um and Yes, yeah, so we've got dinner too, and it's like a full three course meal, but he has no idea. So, like, I've bought him a new t shirt to wear for tonight, which he doesn't know yet. So, I'll give him that in a minute because he's going to start getting ready. Um, so, he might think that's a surprise, but then he'll be like, Why are we getting dressed up? <laughs> it's not really dressed up, but you know what I mean? Like, why is, does he need a t shirt for it? That sort of thing. But, um, yeah, so we'll be going there tonight. I'm very excited. I'll obviously vlog the whole thing, but I just didn't have a chance to tell you before. Um, without him being around basically so yeah we've got that plan I'm excited yeah, why do you have to be that annoying so annoying when it opens it's only open for 10 minutes I heard so we've yeah, got between 9 and 10 past 9 to go he's like in a bad mood and then um, I'll just like go, go shower then and we'll quickly just freshen up and go out because he thinks we're going to get a burger um and he just came up and said that he was running a bath so we didn't have time it was like it's eight o'clock now <laughs> i said we didn't have time so now he's like kicking off and he doesn't understand because i told him that the place opens at nine and that's why we've got to go but really the reservation at nine o'clock um i don't know i think he's gonna be well confused when we turn up there <laughs> Just going for our food now, just trying to find it because the Uber driver didn't drop us off in the right place. Um, well, it wasn't him, it was dropped off, he dropped us off where it told him to go. He slept in the wrong place. Yeah. Well, it says we're almost there. Maybe it's this with the burgers outside. Burger. Yes, this is it, this is it. We okay, we're here. Outside. There is it hanging in the window, Paul. Look. No. <laughs> I don't know, but I hope not. There we go. So we'll come in for our burger. It's cool, isn't it? It's crazy. Hey, Hi. thanks for waiting. Can I you? It's under Daisy Lewis. Daisy Lewis. Yes, for dinner. Yes. Come in. Will you make want to give some jackets here? Jackets here? Uh, yeah. Yeah. You guys follow me inside. Welcome. So it's really loud in here. You probably won't be able to hear me, but I'll try it anyway. But, you know, we're in the butcher now. <laughs> in the secret kitchen and um yeah it's lunch we're just about to have a three course meal but jess is picking at the moment so no. can't be that impressed he's yawning <laughs> at the hotel now um i'm gonna moan again and that's the second time in this vlog and i don't want to be a negative but again i want to be completely transparent with anything that i do or like anywhere i say i'm going etc so we got in there um i don't know how clear it will be on the clips beforehand but we got in there the whole setup was cool of like the secret door and like putting your coats away and then going into this thing. So the layout was like a bar. So you were literally sat at on bar stools at this bar. Um, but the space was like the 
the countertop was wide enough to obviously put food and stuff on. My mum was really welcoming when we got there, like really attentive. Um, the music was loud already, so like we couldn't really he like hear each other. We were having to sort of like shout at each other to get a conversation across. Um, yeah, so the barman explained how the many were starters and mains were fine. They came out, they were really nice. As we were tucking into our mains, it was getting really rowdy. Like there was balloons everywhere, and like two um, uh, t two and a seven balloons. So it was someone's birthday, um, and. I don't know whether they were, because as far as I'm aware, I believe that they were only, you could only go into this secret kitchen if you had reservations for the three course meal, but it seemed to be like everyone knew each other in there, so like there was groups of girls coming in constantly. I'm just looking at this little shadow, but it's just where my lips creating a shadow on my chin. I was like, what's that? Why won't it go away? Anyway. Um had our starters, they were lovely. I had crispy beef tacos, just had um, soft tacos three ways, so fish, chicken and pork. They were really nice. Uh, and then our mains came out. Um, I had chicken schnitzel with fries and salad and just had steak with chips and salad. Um, they were both lovely as well. Like, don't get me wrong, the food was amazing. Um, but yeah, it seemed like there was like locals or regulars that was going there and they were all like your like high profile people like they were all coming in sort of like splashing cash and dressed to the nines and like just groups of women who literally looked like they were plucked off the front cover of bloody vogue and i was just a bit like oh for god's sake it's like I don't know, feeling a bit inferior. It was getting really loud, a DJ came on and like we were just sat there like just waiting for our dessert to come round and it was just so noisy. I was drinking or finished their meals. Um, there was just people sparking up their cigarettes in there. So yeah, it was a bit annoying because neither myself or Jesse are smokers and um, it's not really, I'm sure even smokers can appreciate that you don't really want to smell fags whilst you're trying to eat. I probably sound like a boring moaner right now, but to be honest, I don't care when I'm spending that much money on an experience. I don't want to have it ruined by feeling uncomfortable or, um, anything like that. So yeah, I'm feeling a, bit, a little bit sort of down. I know that sounds probably really stupid to some people but like I went through so much effort trying to find somewhere really really cool to like celebrate Jesse's birthday and stuff and like he keeps reassuring me that it was fine it was just sort of bad luck for us today but oh I don't know I'm just beating myself up about booking that place really it just wasn't the most fun experience but I'm only saying that because it's not the type of people that me and Jess are like when we're just together on our own we just want to chat loads laugh relax and eat loads of food like i think i would have been better off just genuinely going for a burger and a milkshake and like a big fat waffle afterwards it would be a really really cool experience if like you're in a couple and you you're like drinkers or like partiers it is a really really cool sort of atmosphere to be in um and or if you're going with a friend like um or a group of girls or something and you are celebrating a special occasion i would recommend it but it's just not me and it's just not jess and it's just not us and you know so we just walked back from there and just said to ourselves that you know out of three trips together here we've had some amazing times and you kind of got to make in that amount of like picking up where to go and like what to do you've got to make some bad decisions haven't you and to be honest i would redo everything from today except the breakfast we had that was probably my highlight and oh oh seeing the cats as well but i wouldn't go to body worlds um i wouldn't go to the pancake bakery and i wouldn't go to the butcher for dinner um but yeah tomorrow's a new day and we will make sure it's a better one but for now i'm gonna go take my makeup off relax and 
well, midnight is in 12 minutes, so someone's gonna be 23. Woohoo! Woo! So excited, I don't know. Anyway, good night. Oh! Well, I'll use this clip if it actually pulls off, but I'm supposed to be doing three separate vlogs, so I guess like, subscribe, and stay tuned because the next vlog's coming soon.